guys, so today I went on a major mall haul and I was thinking of like walking you through everything I got today but I don't know how long that's going to take and how much battery life I have left on my camera. So I'm going to run you through like what my goals were for today and we can just decide you know how successful I was. So one of my goals was to get a dress for a, like a Gatsby party, I know cornball right? a Gatsby party I have to go to at the end of the month and see the whole thing about the party was you know um, it has to be formal or the costume so formal is required for the party but if you wear a costume somehow you're out of the formal thing I don't know so you either have to be formal or party wear and I decided I wanted to do, do formal instead of being that goofball that's wearing the stupid costume but I found a perfect formal dress that was like, bam, kind of spot on for Gatsby look, but then at the same time still formal. So we're going to take a look at that first. So this is the dress, people. I know. Hot, right? Okay, so it's about, I don't know, knee length, lots of just gorgeous, gorgeous glitter. I got this in Nordstrom Rack. It was brand new on the rack right now for $34.97 from $69. I know, right? And this is uh, by City Triangles. It's uh, just absolutely fabulous. And I have pictures of it on me. I don't know if I'm going to attach that to this or not. But I think this works perfect for Gatsby. I got lots of just like long pearls that I just you know, I have it in my jewelry collection that I think I put that on. I put like maybe a little headband maybe with a feather in it or something. And I'm like so Gatsby, you guys. It's not even funny. So, so this was my compromise to Gatsby uh, slash formal. And I look the bomb in this dress. Okay, so we'll just move on from there. So check off the list of priority number one, okay? So priority number two was to go over to um, either Macy's or Nordstrom's to one of their brow bars and have one of the girls do my eyebrows. So I was just really intrigued by this idea because I've always just been, you know, an, you know, an artist of my own brow art. And um, <laughs> you guys, check it out. So she used two products. Here is the menu from the Benefits Brow Bar, and the girl was really nice. She was the uh, the manager of the you know the whole setup there, and went over their whole like little spiel thing. And I was just like, go for it. Let's see the magic that you do. Okay, so you know after spending about a half hour there. I'm really not so sure that I'm not supremely impressed with my own brow art because look at this. Does this not just look like this looks like my brow art? I'm telling you. I don't know. I don't see a big difference. And I've asked people today, I was like, do you notice anything different? <laughs> and they didn't. Okay. So anyways, she used Cabrow in number four, which is a a brow gel where she used a brow gel. I normally use a brow pencil that's a powder pencil. And I, let's see, hmm, I'll show it to you actually. Let's go through this little pile of hell. It's in here somewhere. Every day I go through this. Got all my, like, you know, my favorite MAC brushes and then other miscellaneous things that I can't live without, like my spoolie brush. I love that brush. Okay, so here it is. I use um, Perfect Arch Soft Powder Brow Pencil. This is by Femme Couture in Dark Brown. I get this at Sally's, guys, and it is like the greatest pencil ever. It is a pencil... Mm. No focus whatsoever. Okay, so anyways, it is a dark brown pencil, but it doesn't go on really like a pencil. Once you put it on, it is almost like you're applying a powder. 
So it is amazing when you're drawing lines and filling in a little bit and it feels like you're just brushing powder on and I really like that. It's very pigmented and it's absolutely fabulous. And I think that on a normal day-to-day -day basis I'm achieving just as much uh, wonderfulness as Miss uh, Brow Bar did today. And after, let's say, I use this pencil, I often will use a, you know, just a, oh, I've got a ton of them so I can't just point you to one. Um, I use a little bit of a eyebrow shadow, as you might say. Let's see. This one's by Kiss, but this is one of the ones I use. And I just use this, this uh, color right here with this brush, and that goes into filling in. I could do a tutorial if you guys are really interested, but uh, there's so many on YouTube, I just thought it would be a waste of time. But anyways, I think that her and I are kind of, you know, like on similar wavelengths here in the eyebrow department. So I was pleased with what she did, but I don't see a huge difference here. I mean, basically, these are my brows on a good day. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Success. Hmm. Okay, well, I didn't tell you everything she used. She used the brow number four, and she also used the gimme brow in number three, which is kind of like a, a mascara, colored mascara that has fibers in it, which I was not liking that, because she only used it on the, uh, the hair on my eyes, where I have certain parts of my uh, brows that I color in that don't actually have eyebrows there, because my eyebrows are like screwed up, you guys. So anyways, um, normally on any given day, I use a clear, haha, <laughs> this is not clear, not anymore anyways, it was at one time, but uh, I use a clear mascara, now brown, topish color, anyways, I use a clear mascara and I coat my brows after I'm done doing the, doing the whatever, you guys tell me if you want me to make a video about that, I don't know, um, may just be a major waste of time. So anyways, that was my brow buyer experience. We had a good time ch chatting with each other about eyebrows, but the, in the end I was kind of like, oh, I can wing this myself. And um, aside from my totally age-inappropriate lipstick, <laughs> I know you're loving it guys, I love it. I love it. It's like Barbie pink and no I'm not 14, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm totally gonna wear this at all times, if possible, because I kind of love it, and I realize that I only have a lifetime, you know, limit to how long I can wear shit like this. <gasps> Stuff like, can you say shit on regular TV now? I don't know. I've heard all kinds of bad words now that you can say on regular daytime TV that I didn't know. You can say the B word on TV now, and it's like totally legit, people. So anyways, aside from my fascination with bad words that you can say on TV now, and now that you guys know that I use the S word, oh my god, it's so disappointing. Okay, so my other, um, my other point of focus at going to the mall today was to get a choker. Chokers are so in right now, like lace chokers, leather chokers, velvet chokers. So everywhere I went today was really weird. Like I went to Nordstrom's, I went to Macy's, I went everywhere. And everywhere that you go, you get these chokers now, but I was not expecting this. They all come with a little necklace that is attached to the bottom of the choker. So as you can see, choker, but then at the bottom of the choker, you get a little chain that's attached. So this one, this was a, uh, after seeing it everywhere, like everywhere has this. Um, I went to, um, what is the name of the store? I never shopped there, but I knew they would have a good deal on jewelry. Uh, wet Seal, okay. I haven't shopped there since middle school, but I knew, you know, that they would have a cheaper version of some of the stuff I was looking at everywhere else, and they would do a good job. So, I went to a seal, and of course, like I thought, they had a ton of stuff, and they had this, um, like, faux leather choker, which I was totally into, and it has, like, this little gold, um, what is this? Is it an arrowhead? I guess it's an arrowhead. It's a little gold arrowhead, and I thought that was pretty cute. Yeah, I can do that. I can sport that. Okay, so I think I'm going to show you the jewelry up close. So I'm going to try to do this quickly because I know I'm going to run out of time and your patience for this video. So we're going to get this uh, choker off and I'll show you two of the other chokers that I got today. I also got this one. Now they've been making a lot of belts like this 
and they make the belts that look just like this, but they're the size of your waist, and they're really cute. I haven't gotten one yet, but I um, I got the necklace version, so normally you would fasten that in the back, but I just thought that's so cute, and I think in a really dressy outfit, this could look really cool, really flashy, and I'm so into gold. Yellow gold has always been my thing, even when everybody was wearing silver, I was like, no, yellow gold. Okay. So then I went to Nordstrom's, and Nordstrom's had really cute chokers, but for some reason they were all like super huge, and I have a little tiny skinny chicken neck, and a lot of their chokers were not cute on me, like the lace ones hung down here. No. So I was thinking about my Great Gatsby dress, I found this one, and this one was really adjustable, so I was able to put it on and be like, dang girl, that's so hot, think about this, this dress? Oh, that necklace? Baby. Okay, so anyways, this was to go with this. And I really like this because it has yellow gold um, framing on these little fake uh, rhinestones, which I like. A lot of times you see clear rhinestones on a piece of jewelry. It has silver as the framing. But look, yellow gold. Loving that. So anyways, that's three chokers now. On to, you know, one of the things that I'm really bad at impulse buying, which is earrings. I hardly ever wear earrings, but I'm very attracted to them. I guess I'm kind of like a crow and like shiny objects. I see those earrings, and I'm like, oh, gotta touch those earrings. So anyways, I got these big gold hoops because I never had big gold hoops. And I see they're kind of coming back. Like at the turn of the millennia, a lot of people were like wearing the big hoops, and I never like jumped on the trend. But I see that they're coming back again, and so I was like, better get some hoops, girl. Okay, and then I've been trying to do, go a little edgier on my look, and I'm, I'm kind of like putting in like more black into my outfits. I'm wearing clothes that are a little more uh, distressed than normal. And so I found these earrings, and I just think that I could totally wear these on a day-to-day. -day. I got these at Nordstrom Rack. Let's see if I can get them to focus. Are they ever going to focus? Are you ever going to focus? Probably not. Okay, so anyways, I think you can get the idea that they're kind of a little reticulated and kind of a little arrow thing going on. They're by Gorgiana. I don't know. Gorgiana.com, supposedly. It says Gorgiana.com. G-O-R-J-A-N-A. These are so cute. They were the last ones, so I was like carrying them around like they were buried treasure the whole time while I was like picking up clothes and trying on adorable things. I never set them down for a second because I just knew there was some girl who wanted to snatch them up from me. Girl, you're not going to snatch these up from me. So anyways, that was weird. <laughs> anyways, so I went to, um, uh, well, I'll show you in my clothing haul, but I went to uh, another store that I sometimes go into. I barely ever find anything because their clothes are just so, I don't know, cheap. But I love those piles of like bins they have next to their uh, checkout Forever 21. So Forever 21, their clothes, uh, not so much, but those bins of crap, I love those bins of crap. So anyways, I found this perfect wig brush. This is a perfect brush, I'm telling you guys. Look, it cost, well, it used to have a price on it. Oh, it's $1.90. $1.90 and this is the just the right kind of brush for combing out a wig after you shampoo it and you know you get it out of the, the bin and you're combing it out before you put a little conditioner in it. This is perfect. $1.90. Okay, that's way better than even Sally's can pull off. Then I also got some gel shoe cushions. They're mini strips. These are perfect for high heels when I'm on my trip. So let's say I take some heels that fit me perfectly now and I wear them for a couple days and all of a sudden they're all loose perfect strips. These are exactly $1.90. Then, oh my god, I hate saying this word, but nipple covers, you guys. They had nipple covers, three pairs for $2.90 at Forever 21. These people are like a godsend. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to try to make my voice loud enough. It's going to carry all the way over to that camera over there, but for some reason, I just cannot get like a full body shot with this camera. I just won't do it. Oh my god, I have no jewelry on. I feel like such a freak. Oh my god. Okay, so much better. I got some jewelry on. Sorry, you guys. I'm old school. I'm like part of that mindset where, you know, like you don't go out unless you got your full makeup on and your jewelry. Jewelry is very important. 
Okay, so anyways, you know, a few little tidbits here and there. <laughs> okay, so one of the other things that I've been brainstorming, it wasn't one of my goals today, but I wanted to get a pair of awesome shoes because we're going to Paris and I, I know we're going to be walking around in you know, the fashion districts and I do not want to be wearing some weird fuddy-duddy American thing that you know, people are going to be like, oh my god, look at those tacky Americans over there. They're fat and stupid and whatever else French people think about us. So anyways, so I went to Nordstrom's. It's the best that I could do. Uh, the mall that I went to was out in Clackamas and they don't exactly have anything like super high end out there. So Nordstrom was the only place that I even considered buying shoes from. And uh, anyway, so this is what I got. They're probably like the most expensive shoes they had there. I can't believe it. Like they don't have high end anything at Nordstrom's anymore. They're they're most like elitist brand there now is the Sam Edelman heels. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but to me that's not like designer. That's kind of like low end. So I mean, not to sound like oh hotty totty or anything, but. Uh, Nordstrom's kind of going downhill. So anyways, I got these Sorel boots. Sorel? Sorel? I don't know. Anyways, so I wish I could show these to you on oh, because they're so cute on. Um, anyways, they are a hidden wedge inside of a boot that supposedly you can even wear in the snow. Hello? Functional. So anyways, these are adorable. They look so cute with skinny jeans and you could even wear these with a dress. They're so adorable. They are called, uh, they are called Joan of Arctic. Joan of Arctic, how cute is that? So like, oh my God, now you guys all know what size I wear, seven and a half. That's not that big. I mean, that's like a not monster Bigfoot size, right? Anyways, they're cute. I'm so like comfortable in these. I think I could walk all over Paris in these and not cry, whine, or complain to my husband at all. So yeah. On, on. Oh my god, those are so cute. Okay, anyways, let's get serious now. They're adorable. I love them. And I just hope that I don't get sick of them within a couple of days and decide to take them back. Okay, so shoe purchase number two, and I got these a couple days ago, but I thought I would show them to you anyways because I forgot, you know, that I got them. And those are my Coach um, Gala in semi-matte calf. I got them in color saddle. And I love these so much because they look like my Tommy Hilfiger wedges that I used to have that I wore the crap out of. And anyways, these are beautiful, soft leather, le leather, leather with the sweet little coach logo. How come nothing will freaking focus today? Anyways, it's got the coach logo on it. Anyways, these were not expensive at all. I got these at the coach outlet. And let's see, I think it been. 80 bucks for these for leather shoes you guys leather shoes for 80 dollars where does that even happen those sorel boots um the sorel boots were 249 these were only 80 i can't believe it i'm gonna wear these like formal not formal <laughs> i'm gonna wear these to like dinner parties legit i'm gonna wear them to dinner parties my battery, sorry, is flashing and freaking me out, guys. Don't know if I'm going to get through this, but we're going to try. Anyways, so let's get through this really fast. Uh, this is from Nordstrom Rack. It's just a cheap little kind of green shirt. Kind of like the one I have on, but it's like a little more green. Not so interesting. I found this new shop called Garage at the mall. And they have all these like cute little tops. I've never seen it before, but cute top, cute kind of mock turtleneck top. I spent so much there. I only got four shirts, but it was like almost $70. It was ridiculous. So this is a little like cold shoulder top I got. Uh oh, the sleeve is missing. In blue, cold shoulder top, cute. Also got it in purple. These are like so hot on me because I'm a little 
top heavy, so like they just squeeze in all the right places. Just saying. Okay. So let's see. I went to Macy's and in the Material Girl section. Love that brand, by the way. Anyways, I got these little tops. You know, they're the ones. They're the onesies. You know, that snap at the bottom. Let's not talk about how gross that is. But anyways, so this is kind of like a mock turtleneck. And I think that's just so cute. I can't wait to wear those with all my little tiny skinny jeans. And what else did I get from uh, Macy's? Oh, I got these celebrity pink, uh, like black stretchy pants, but they're, they're stretchy, but at the same time, they're high rise. They have three buttons, they're not buttoned. But anyways, skinny pants, so, freaking cute. I feel so skinny in these pants. I can't even tell you. And so like the tags are like, I don't, what is this? Dare you stand out, make a statement? I don't know. So anyways, cute pants, cute, cute pants. And then, uh oh, this was also from Nordstrom Rack. Before I went to Nordstrom's, I went to Nordstrom Rack across the street. And I got legit Kim K pants, okay? I mean, they're not by Kim K, but they look like something for real she would wear. They're like stretch pants. These are by a, their uh, Nordstrom's brand, Abound. And they are stretch pants, but they have zippered pockets and these little angled, like, cuts in them. And you guys, I have like a perfect Kim K butt in these pants. I am not kidding they are so freaking cute and they were like 21 dollars it's like i robbed the place i robbed the place okay so anyways i went a little crazier when i went to um express i express they just get me every time they have such cute crap and it's so overpriced but i just can't help myself they had jeans buy one get one half off but the whole store was buy one get one half off so i just like grabbed one pair of jeans that I really liked and a cute shirt and got the hell out of there before they robbed me blind. So anyways, I got these cute distressed jeans ripped the hell up and look at the look at the ankles on those. Look at how distressed they are. How cute is that? Oh my god, I love how distressed those are. Anyways, I fell in love with these pants even though the pockets on them are way too big and they gave me total mom butt. But, you know, I can get over mom butt because uh, I wore a freaking double zero today. What the heck is going on here? Well, anyways, so they made me feel good by making their sizes totally whack. But, uh, you sold me. So, my last purchase there was, my husband's going to hate this. I don't know why. It's a mesh top, you guys. Anyways, I'm going to wear this with like a cute little like tube top underneath. I know you're thinking like, why is somebody in their mid-30s wearing a tube top for? I don't even own a tube top. I'm just saying I might get a tube top. Anyways, I could put like a tank top underneath this or something and then wear this over. Okay, you guys, I have all kinds of dreams for this shirt, but you know, you don't have to put me down yet. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I just wanted to show you mostly my adorable boots. But I was going to just, you know, run through all the rest of the crap just to, you know, take up your time and give you something to do today and, you know, check out my funky hair. This is my hair that I do when I'm going shopping because it's easiest for trying things on. Oh, I know, Benjamin. I hear you whining. Come here. Anyways, Benjamin and I love you guys and we would like you to come back and watch us again. So, oh, come here. Oh, look. Look, you guys. It's Benjamin. Benjamin, you're so cute. Okay, so we'd love it if you would subscribe and like our video and come back because we'll be back here doing our thing, talking to ourselves, doing our little video thing. We hope you'll be here too. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.